Okay, I'm going to just show the process that I used to remove this BGA with the bonding material around it. Um, the first thing I had to do was to be able to place a thermocouple to run through the teach process. Because of the bonding material, you can't fit a thermocouple under it, so I'm using a small drill bit and I'm just going to carefully drill through the bonding and actually into the board material just a little bit to give me an area under the component to fit the thermocouple. Okay, so now we have an area to fit the thermocouple and all that we'll do is just place the thermocouple in that recess and secure it with Kapton tape. Now the reason again for the hole is to get to, to ensure that the thermal um, thermal energy has gone through the part to reflow the solder connections we want to have the thermal couple reading in that area so we've got to get the thermal couple underneath the part so by by just drilling out a little bit in there we're able to get a more accurate reading. The board's now mounted in the board holder thermal couples are attached the thermal couples are held in place with Kapton tape and we're about ready to start the recipe. We've set the recipe to give us the best uh, profile to remove this part in approximately three minutes is the target we're looking at so that we don't, by going too fast, we run the risk of damaging the board. We're going to go with a, a three minute profile, but you could speed that up or slow it down based on, on whatever your process requirements are. We've got the software set in the remove mode and in the teach mode and all I need to do is just start the recipe. First thing it does is it moves the, the head in for alignment. Once you've aligned the nozzle over the component, turn off the lights, click continue, moves the prism out of the way and it starts to bring the head down over the component. Once the head is in place over the component, there's about a one second delay and then the heat cycle will start. As it goes through the heat cycle, when you get close to the reflow point, we'll come in with tweezers and pop the component up. Thank you.